Hello, this is Sami Diamond. In this episode, I'd like to explain to you or show you the admin center message center. That's the place where uh, you can see all of the news. So um, you need to have uh, access to that. I will go to the nine dots and I will look for the admin center. And within the admin center, um, we can go to show all and under health, we can go to service to message center. In the message center, we will see all of the information. And actually, uh, if we want to filter, we can filter first by services. So let's say I want only to see Microsoft Forms. So I, I chose that. By the way, I can choose uh, multiple ones. So if I want Microsoft Forms and, for instance, uh, let's look for SharePoint. So I mark that, mark that, and I will see also Microsoft Forms and also SharePoint. I, if I want to clear it, I just click here on an X. So let's say I want to see uh, Microsoft. Let's look for SharePoint. Here we are, SharePoint Online. And what we can do here, we have the title of the message. We can say if we want to set it as favorite. We see which service uh, it uh, deals with. Sometimes we have uh, multiple services. When did the last update? And until when do you need to act? What is the tag and the message ID and category? Okay, so if we go to the tags, we can see that we have different things. Some are user impact, some is data privacy, some admin impact, feature update, major updates and new features. So if I choose new features, I will see only those that are new features for SharePoint. Let's clear that. And we can see also message state. We could check for favorites. We can check for read or unread or updated. So this is all of the information you have. We also have your text box that we could say, let's say, uh, we look na navigation, and we should see here, um, uh, for instance, uh, SharePoint configure navigation link, which will open in a new tab. So this gi gives us uh, some information. We can show it as compact or normal. We can also go here and change the columns and say, let's say we don't want uh, the message. So we can save that and now we will present. Now, if we go in, for instance, to one of the uh, updates, then we see the title. We see the number message ID. When was it published? What we can do is to share it. If we share it, actually we can enter um, a mail and then it will send it to us. We can copy the link or mark it as unread. In addition, we can see which services uh, does it use. And we can see the number of active users. So in this case, only three uh, users are here because I'm in the sandbox. And we see here the tags. All of the messages always have the message summary, the link to the roadmap. If we click here, we will see it will direct us to the roadmap. And we see here actually some description. We have the feature ID. Uh, when was it added to the roadmap? When was it last modified? What product it is? Um, we see here on the right actually when it will be general available. And we, we can see other things. Also here, we can actually filter by the product. See, I can choose only visual. And here we can choose uh, what type of release, if it's targeted uh, release or limited or general availability. We can choose if we want uh, only governmental or DOD or GCC, if it's an update or a change or new. And we can choose here the platform, if it's desktop or Android or Mac or something like that. So let's go back actually here. 
So we said there's always a summary, the link to the roadmap. When will it happen? How? How does this affect the organization? And we also see uh, how uh, do you need to prepare. They also give a link to some reference. So if we go here, we will go to the document uh, documentation of Microsoft. So uh, this is in general uh, how to use the message center. Uh, we have here also an archive in case uh, you choose to put it. You can also set here uh, that all of the information will go to Planner and you can sync it. I have a separate video for that. Here you have preferences that you can define what services you want to see and what alerts do you want to see and um, regarding email. So thank you and goodbye.